As they come in as freshmen, part of the two day, what we do is um, I have a, a list of things. So I will talk about job opportunities. Um, I show them some um, films that I don't think most of them realize what welding involves. Um, so I start off with, you know, the building, for instance, that they're sitting in. They see masonry bricks, they see, you know, sheetrock, they see light switches. It starts as a shell, and without us, the building wouldn't be up. The bridges that they drive over. So they start to learn more, figure, oh wow, I guess it is something that's in demand. You're always going to be fixing, you're always going to be building, you're always going to be creating. Um, there's several different types of welding, so I try to encourage them to be the best at all of them because then they're going to be more valuable to industry when they go out there. You know, there's only two schools left that have welding, which is kind of sad because every year that they've um, shut one down, we've tried to fight for it, and um, it's fallen on deaf ears. With the fact that we only have two schools, um, you know, welders are in that much more demand for Connecticut. You know, you're pulling people out of Massachusetts or Rhode Island or New York to do our work. It's the, you know, we're always going to need a plumber, we're always going to need an electrician, we're always going to need a welder. It's just the way society is.